Welcome back. It's time for Weekend Wine Down. Jamie Seekin, the general manager of Cedar Ridge Winery, is here today, and he's helping us get ready for the weekend. We're, we're ready. And uh, he's <laughs> brought some amazing wines and talking about some awards that you guys have won. Yeah, so every summer we enter the Mid-American Wine Competition, which is down in DMAC in Des Moines. Um, but it's all over, I was just explaining to you guys off set, it's all over the, the middle of America. So it's about 18, 19 states that are in it. Tennessee, Minnesota, um, you know, Arkansas, Oklahoma, it's all over the middle of the country. Um, and we won 21 medals. Wow. And the four wines I brought today were all gold medal winners. So let's break it down. We'll yeah. start over here. Tell <laughs> yeah. us about it. So um, the first one on the far right is our apple cranberry. So it's Ooh. a fruit style wine, uh, mainly apple, a little bit of cranberry in that. So. Um, it's definitely going to be a sweeter fruit wine, but it has some nice um, crisp or tartness because of the cranberry. Okay, yeah. very nice. I want to try that one. This one's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. I've been bragging to him. Okay, let's talk about it. Edelweiss. So Edelweiss is... Oh, it's uh, Edelweiss? I was saying it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, one of the grapes that we grow. So that is the name of the grape is Edelweiss. Uh, Ten varietals that we grow, and that's one of them. And um, we finished that in a, a sweeter um, style white wine. So, mm -hmm. yep. Very nice. Always been one of our most popular wines, um, but you know, exceptional year last year. Yeah, yeah, very good. And now we have these two over here, uh, Lacrosse. Lacrosse, another varietal that we grow um, out at our vineyard as well. Um, that is a little bit drier, so it's gonna gonna be um, barrel aged for about three to four months, and then you know, finished on a, a dry style. So you know, kind of you know, your Chardonnay drinkers or Pinot Grigio drinkers that like that crisp, dry white wine, or will definitely. Um, enjoy this style of wine. And then this last guy here, too, this kind of rounds out your four gold medals, yes, you're saying, right? Yeah, um, and that one actually won um, a sweepstake award. So Whoa. if you win a gold mm. medal, then you get, you know, and if it's unanimous, you get entered into a sweepstakes, and that won best Iowa wine. So that was the best oh, wine wow. in the entire state of Iowa. Yeah, we're pretty proud of that. Congratulations. Um, thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, and that we call that Blanc to Blanc, um, <laughs> which is. Um, like a song. Yeah, which is uh, <laughs> a, 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 it's a sparkling wine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dig in on this one. But yeah, I would too. What is it that that makes yeah. I guess a, a, a wine a gold winner? Is it different for each one because they do go after different Absolutely. tastes or yeah? So there's different categories that you can enter. Um, they even do food exactly. pairing mm -hmm. categories. Um, you know, like apple cranberry was entered into a fruit. Um, wine category. So there's different categories that you can enter into and, and they bring in, you know, tasters and judges from all over the world. Um, you know, the main guy, Doug Frost, has uh, his master sommelier and, and I mean, his credentials are, you know, so long that I can't remember <laughs> them, but, um, It is a, a big competition um, for all, like I said, the, the middle of America states. That's wonderful. Yeah. Very cool. Do you guys have any things coming up here we should know about? We have, you know, our summertime is our busy season, so mm -hmm. we have live music every Friday night from 6 to 9, um, Sunday brunches that are always popular, um, Sunday afternoon music from 1 to 4. Um, we have a, a, a 10th year anniversary that we're getting ready to, um, I guess, uh, spell out all the details and announce that. Mm -hmm. uh, we just, you know, sent out an email yesterday giving some people some basic details of that, but that will be at the end of the month. So, yeah, we got, you know, always got something going on this time of year. Oh, at the sure. That's fantastic. And such a beautiful location. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really nice place to just go hang out. And um, you guys have some great food options as well. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to just sit around and drink wine all the time. <laughs> you can go You don't food. have to, but you can. Yeah. <laughs> always an option. Yeah. Yeah. If folks want to uh, find more information about uh, where you guys are or what you guys do have going, on every weekend. Uh, where can they find that? Yeah, we're just south of 380 off of exit 10, um, Shuey Swisherville exit, and then at crwine.com is our website. Perfect. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And in the kitchen, too. Yeah. I know. I appreciate so it. I'm honored. Thank you. We're honored to have you over here. We're going to be back in just a few moments, so stay with us. Tell them what's coming up next. Going up next after the break, we'll have another peek at the Weather First forecast, and we're also taking a look at the way that students in the corridor are taking advantage of the Czech and Slovak Museum. All of it's after the break. Stay with us.